Good morning. Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, we actually have that 127,000 BTU heat pump up and running right now, and it's just running off this 12 kilowatt. Um, if we look at this, it's 240 volts. We have 74 amps that we're bringing in off the solar and then it is using another 26 amps on the battery. We do have it over here. See this little telephone pole, the grid? It's not hooked up yet. But if this gets down to like 49 volts, this inverter over here will kick on as the grid power. We have this connected, so this is grid backup. So right now, we're running that, and we ran all of our wiring everything coming out of this breaker box here you can see the red black and then behind it is the green it's this red wire right here all this once it leaves the breaker box is in this flexible conduit that we have and i'll show you we kind of cleaned up some of the uh, PV wires and the uh, electrical wires going to run our mini splits and our heat pumps on our house. We worked on right here. We used to have a bundle of wires, and now we still have some over there that we have to um, tie into some conduit but that's not a big deal um so we have these solar panels on these sheds these are mono panels those are the only monos i have those are on the shed we have this over here we still have to tie this in right here with these come off the shed and this comes off of the northwest Iran our yard and we just have those little bit of wires right there and everything else is in conduit so getting cleaned up pretty quick we uh ran that conduit for that 127,000 btu and like i said once it leaves that breaker box in the garage it is in this conduit right here so we ran this conduit behind the wall here and we'll button that up against the wall right now it's just laying there now, when we got to this point, we had to, we only had enough room to go half inch here. So we had to push a half inch flexible conduit in there and then come back right at this point underneath these pavers and go back to a three quarter inch. We ran a three quarter inch. It is this one right here. And we ran that up into this uh, AC disconnect. So we have that AC disconnect there. Nobody can touch it and play with it. So this is the solar coming in. And this is the wires going over to this 127,000 BTU pool heat pump. Now... Right now, we're just running this, and this will heat up the water one to three degrees per hour. So, it does pretty quick. We also have this one connected right here. This is a little 18,000 BTU. Right now, we got 51 degrees of the water coming in from the pool. And going back out to the pool is 59. It's almost 10 degree difference right there that we have on that exchange. So that thing takes about 24 to 36 hours to take it from 51 degrees up to 89, 90 degrees. We put our pool cover back on because we need that thermal cover on there to hold the heat in during the day and the night. So if we want to go swimming, we can actually just pull that off and we will be able to go swimming. Now, 
right now we're not running all of our panels. I think we're only running about 60 of these panels, 250 watt panels. But I don't know if you can tell by the sun in the sky. Here's north. That's on the horizon. And if you just go up a little bit, it's maybe about 20, 25 degrees up in the sky that that sun is hitting. So during the summertime, that sun is all the way overhead and actually a little bit to the north. So we get quite a bit of sun all day long. The other thing was we took all of our panels off of here in the winter time. During the summertime, they'll get full sun all day long. So we had them on there, but we took them off. And we still have another eight panels over here to that are sitting there that we still have to connect. So the uh, pool heater is going and that thing uses right around on your inverter, it uses over a hundred amps um, that you have to produce between solar alone or solar and battery. And if it drops below that, it will uh, have the grid kick in. But right now, we're hanging at right around 50 volts. And it is right around 1130. So we'll be able to raise that pool temperature about 6 to 10 degrees today. And then we'll have that pool cover on. And we're not going to run it overnight. We'll just run it during the day. And we'll uh, thinking about getting some more mono panels. Those will produce much better in the low light conditions with that sun sitting more in the south of the sky. But right now, we are have that pool heat pump. And like I said, that thing is drawing. There's 80 amps right there. And 24. So that's around 105 amps between my battery and my solar coming in that uh, that uses. And no, right now we only have uh, we have four kilowatts coming in, and we're actually uh, using 5.1. So we're having to supplement that 1100 watts with that uh, 25, 30 amps, down to 22 amps. So 24 amps. So we're supplementing that with. Our battery bank right here and this isn't even having to kick on at all right now but uh, this one is staying fully charged I had this fully charged yesterday and it's you can see right now it's just topping off it uh, and I also have this one if I needed to um, that's sitting at a hundred percent state of charge and it's in standby so right now we're heating our pool and it's probably about 55 degrees outside 51 degrees in the pool see if we can't get that up to 60 degrees today and then over two days get it up to 70 degrees another two days 80 degrees another two days 90 degrees and then we'll be able to keep it there um and we'll be able to use that once we get it there It'll turn on, off, on and off. Right now, it's just running um, constant. But we'll be able to use that little 18,000 BTU to help supplement that. So that could give us three degrees per hour, which would help. That would only take three, four hours to put that up 10 degrees. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Please like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you soon. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.